Okay guys, so I need like lip gloss or something. I have like the chapped lips. Chap most chapped lips in the whole world. Great, someone's pulling up behind me. Great, I knew I should have parked in a different spot. One second. Whatever. Screw this, you go. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. Just not look at the person that's next to me. So I'm about to head in to my doctor's appointment post my miscarriage. Is this open? I hope not. Anyway, about to head into my doctor's appointment post miscarriage. It's very sad. I've been like crying a lot this morning. I've just been like sad. I felt better yesterday because I think it was the day before yesterday we finally got the confirmation from the blood work that it was a miscarriage. So, by the way, of course it's like a rainy day. It would be. Um, we finally got the confirmation that it was a miscarriage and that kind of made me feel better because I just needed that closure. Um, although today we, as long as the weather permits, this afternoon we're gonna go um, release some balloons for the baby. So I think that will be good. But I swear this thing is open, but I don't know how to close it. Anyway, that giant sunroof up there. Um, that person just looked at me. I shouldn't have looked at them and then they looked at me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what was I saying? So I was crying a lot. Oh, so I felt better with the closure, but then I felt worse again today. I just felt sad, like just frustrated that we have to start all over. It was a long road, like being totally real and raw as usual. It was a long road, even like convincing my husband and just being at the point that we could try for another baby. And then to get pregnant right away was just like, you know, too good to be true basically. And I don't know, it was just a long road. And then the miscarriage happens. And I don't know, I just feel really sad. But I'm gonna go in. They want me to become more of an established patient, patient because I have once again switched doctors. I've never stuck with my doctor because I've never found one I want to stick with. Um, but I have been to this OBGYN before. So they're really into like you being an established patient. So they want me to come in just because they haven't seen me in a long time. But then on top of that, they, um, you know, just to follow up after the miscarriage and everything. I don't think they're going to do an ultrasound. Hopefully not because I know they're not going to, there's going to be nothing there. And I don't really want to go through that and see that. <sighs> I've gained a little bit of weight recently, which like this angle is killing me because my double chin is in like full force. And so I need to get like a control on that. I've been thinking about like the things that I can control. I can control what I eat. I can control how hard I work. I can control being a loving mother and wife. Those are things I can control. I can't control if I have a miscarriage. I can't control whether I ever have a daughter. There are some things that are just you know, can't control the pandemic or whatever. There's some things you just completely out of your control, but there are some things that are in your control. So I've been like kind of repeating that over and over in my head recently, these past couple of days, like you can control what you eat. You can control how hard you work. Like just kind of repeating that over and over, <laughs> hoping that helps somehow, maybe. But anyway, so we're gonna go in become an established patient with these people so that we can start trying again hopefully very soon I'll talk to the doctor about it see what she thinks but I want to try again right away I everything I have read says that you are most fertile after a miscarriage and more likely to have a healthy baby after a miscarriage so like a healthy pregnancy so I want to try again right away 
and I think you have to like wait until your next period or whatever to ovulate again but I've also read you can even ovulate before your next period but the problem with that if you do get pregnant is that they may not be able to like determine how far along you are because you won't have like a last period to base it off of but like they can do measurements and stuff so I kind of don't care about that I don't know you guys can let me know what y'all think what you're you know what you've been through with all that but I um I want to try again right away so I will share the TTC journey this time around last time I didn't because with the fourth kid I was just like I don't want anyone's opinions on how many kids we have whatever but now like everyone knows of course we're gonna try again so um, I figure I'll share the TTC journey hopefully it's a short one fingers crossed but you never know so anyway okay I need to head in there because I need to go to the bathroom for my appointment it's in like five minutes so I'm gonna head in <sighs> crazy thing is um just a couple days from now on Monday I would have been going to my first appointment and now instead I'm going to this so anyway Whew. hey guys so I'm back home and I'm about to start cleaning this kitchen um and filming a cleaning video but I thought I would update you guys on how the doctor's appointment went and everything the doctor said. Um, it was an interesting appointment. I had to have blood drawn, which still hurts. I should have told the girl to do my right hand because I'm left-handed because like my whole arm hurts. So I don't know why I didn't tell her. Well, I was like annoyed with them because um, when they sent me to get blood work again the third time in the past week, um, they sent me on her lunch break. So I had to wait like 30 minutes, just sit there and wait even though my appointment was over so I could go get this blood drawn and it just like, just really bothered me. I had a rough morning as it is and I'm sure you guys can tell, like I'm just not my best self today. I just don't feel great today. What, buddy? So, um, anyway, this mm -hmm. kitchen is so bad. Uh, this is what happens when you're, uh, not feeling great. You know, things, messy houses get even messier. I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry, Papa. Um, I'm like right next to the calendar that, like, I scratched it out because I didn't want to see it anymore, but it was like, first baby appointment. Not anymore. Um, although, so, okay, how the appointment went. This video is all over the place, but it went all right. Um, obviously, that last part I was pretty upset about. I just, like, I don't know. I've been crying today. Um, so, basically, she said, like, based off my blood work and everything, that, yeah, I was most likely a miscarriage. It was annoying because she hadn't seen the blood work from the ER yet like the nurse only had and so she was like misinformed so she was like starting to try to give me hope she's like well it's out of 200 and i'm like do not give me any hope i know i've lost this baby stop doing that to me stop it stop doing that to me <laughs> um oh here you want to check the chip So yeah, they just like they try to give you this hope and I'm they try to give you this hope and I'm just like get out of here with that I know there's no hope and I don't want false hope but um, so Once she saw the the blood work from the ER she was like yeah miscarriage and then so she like I don't even know she checked me down there said everything looks good she says it's good that I've stopped bleeding I stopped bleeding a couple days ago so she said that's good um, so that's all good news but I just feel sad like I posted on my Instagram story and one of my best friends actually dropped me off some like elderberry syrup and different like really sweet things like a little gift while I was gone to my doctor's appointment so Little things like that mean so much. My sister came, watched the kids while I went to the doctor. Like, things like that just mean so much. Like, any little thing that people do, it just means a lot right now. <laughs> um, I didn't know how a miscarriage would affect me, but it, it definitely is hard. It's definitely hard. Um, but yeah, so, took more blood, checked me down there. Told me we're gonna do an ultrasound on Monday. I guess it just to make sure everything is good. We're not supposed to be like crying or anything until then, which 
I was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> but um, cause she was like, it's all good. It's all good. Everything's okay. So we'll wait till Monday for the official trying to start. But I like am ready. Like I'm sure some of you moms that have been through a miscarriage feel that this way. But like just to be real and raw, like I am ready to start trying like immediately. I'm ready to go. Like I'm just ready. So tonight we, I'm going to clean, it's 3 o'clock, Jack woke up early from his nap, of course. Um, so the kids are just, you know, roaming around like they usually do, like y'all see in my cleaning videos. But I really want to at least tackle the kitchen. I want to at least get this kitchen going. I think I'm going to do like a whole house clean with me video because the whole house is a wreck. So um, I'm going to start with the kitchen because it's just, it gets the worst of every part of the house. So I'm gonna do that. Jared, my husband, should be home in like an hour. We were gonna release balloons today, which we may still do. Oh my gosh, he's already home. Oh, that made me happy. <laughs> Daddy's home, buddy. Daddy! Everybody gets so happy when Daddy's home. Oh, <laughs> Jack's running too. They're both running to see their daddy. Hold on, hold on. Okay, good. Henry, Henry left Jack out, which he's not going to be happy about. So, I think I'm going to ask my husband to watch the kids, clean the kitchen, pick up... I know, I know. I know. We'll, go, we'll go see Daddy. We'll go see Daddy, okay? Pick up some balloons from the dollar store or something, and we're going to go... We're going to go to Fuddruckers tonight just to do something. I'm going to take the kids to Fuddruckers. Okay, this guy needs to see his daddy. He needs to see his daddy. What is it? What is it? It's a box in a box. It's a box in a box? Yeah, look. What? Look. A box in a box. A box in a box. Ooh, it's the cool vacuum. It's for me. This one is a special vacuum. And I think it's a special vacuum for me. This is not the Samsung one. This... Hello, the same. Uh, this right here uses the Samsung. Oh, okay. The Samsung's coming Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, let's not let's not do that because we may be sending these back. Okay, baby. Yeah, we might return these, buddy boo. We don't know which ones we like. That's why we ordered so many. Daddy bought a bunch of vacuums. <laughs> um, um, this one and this special one is for me. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. This third one is for this special one for me. Okay, guys. We were looking at the Halloween stuff. I heard one. I know. Yeah, this is not a good idea, huh? Put it together probably when they go to bed. Uh, uh. It's okay. He can have that, Henry. Uh. Ooh, this one's pretty. Careful, Bubba. Be careful, baby. Thank you. What? What? because it's a two-year warranty. Oh, okay. I think this could be, if we're going to keep one outside of the Samsung, I think it might be this one. Okay. this <gasps> one? So tell them, babe, that I'm going to put this in my vlog. Tell them how many vacuums we bought. Four. 
<laughs> on Prime Day, right? Yeah. Bought them on Prime Day for a good deal. Oh. <laughs> we just go look at the Halloween setup. Um, 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 We're trying them out. We'll probably return a couple. Um, 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 Really? Yeah, it, it, it does say stuff uh, like this. Yeah. I see, I see. The big one can work. Um, if there's one in it, it just drains out. Yeah. That's drains. Drains. Yeah. If you put a hole in it, no, no um, 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 the air, all the air comes out. All the air? Yeah, all the air. Wow. If you don't, all, all the air stays in. Down the air don't come in. Pull it up, the air comes back in. We don't need to mess with that until we get the other one. Yeah, there's no point. Okay, uh. <laughs> well, I was getting, I was cleaning. I'm filming multiple videos. I know, but if you're filming this, might as well film this part. <laughs> you have to don't film this part. Okay, I'm gonna put it Oh, this is pretty. Ooh. Hi, Quincy. Pretty. Can I it's like a see-through, like you know those Game Boys. Yes, honey. Hold on. <laughs> Fancy guys. Fancy guys. How is it, Henry? Does it feel like a good vacuum? Yeah. This is cool. It's cool? Yeah. It's a nice one, huh? Yeah, and you can take one and make it even faster. Even faster? Yeah. Wow. Get that, get that thing so I will vacuum it. Just to get one from the dish. Oh, yeah, get that one. Yeah, it can't, it can't vacuum your shoes, it's off. Here. Oh, thank you. Ooh, this is cool. That's cool. If we get a new vacuum one, 